Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today, today we're going to try Locked Out of Heaven by Bruno Mars. There's your intro. Alright, uh, I thought about making this one easier with a cable and all that stuff, but you know, I was watching a video, saw him playing it, it was behind something, it was hard to see. But anyway, we're going to play it like he does, okay? So, so, at some point, you're going to have to get these chords. This is, uh, a lot of this is per, per, uh, percussive, so it's better to use the really hard chords. Uh, some of you can just do it, but some of you are not at that level yet, so you're going to have to get up to that level at some point. Alright, you're going to need a C chord. It's not your regular C chord, it's the 5th string 3rd fret. Then I'm going to lay my ring finger on 4, 3, and 2 at the 5th fret, okay? I'm not playing the 6th string, and my 1st string gets muted too. And I'm just going to hit a quick stab, going to stop the sound, just like that. So the way I stop the sound is I just bounce on it. I let go of the pressure with the left hand, but I still have the chord shape. Then we're going to go to the 5th fret. We're going to bar uh, the 5th fret, top 5 strings. 2nd string, 6th fret, 4th uh, string, and 3rd string at the 7th fret. Okay, some of you know it's a B minor chord. It's up here at the 5th fret. It's a D minor. So you go C, D minor, back to C. Then a B flat chord, which is the 1st fret. So it's the 5th string, 1st fret. And you lay down on 4, 3, and 2 at the 3rd fret. That's your B flat. Then you're going to hit that a second time. Then you're going to go to a G minor. You're going to bar the whole 3rd fret. 5th string, 4th string at the 5th fret. The strum for that one is different. It's down, up, down, down, up, down, down. And notice I'm kind of relieving the pressure on it, so. Alright, so that's your, uh, that's your intro. Let me play it again. So you play that twice and that's your intro. Uh, when the verse comes in, you play that same thing five times. Okay? That's how easy it is. Now we got the pre-chorus. Our rhythm's going to change. So that's an F chord. We're going to bar the whole first fret, uh, third string, second fret, fourth string, and fifth string at the third fret. And now uh, that's an F, and we're going to use that same shape and just, uh, you know, release the pressure of the strings and slide it up to the 5th fret. So you're barring the 5th fret, 3rd string, 6th uh, fret, 5th and 4th string at the 7th fret. So that's an F, and what we're going to do is two measures of it, and we're going to go 8th notes. So it's like down, up, 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 down. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you're doing down up for each beat. Okay? So hopefully that's clear enough. That's your pre-chorus. Then we're right into the chorus. We're going to use a different B flat chord because, because of the shape we're at at the fifth fret, we just move it to the sixth fret. There's no reason to go all the way back to this shape when we have the shape we need. So that's why we're doing a second B flat chord. Um, you bar the whole sixth fret, uh, third string, seventh fret, fourth string, fifth string at the eighth fret, and you're going to do the same. G minor to the F, and then a C. Chorus is uh, sometimes I feel like I'm locked out of heaven. And it just repeats. 
So that's a B flat for two measures, G minor for two, F for two, and then C for two. And those other chords are in the intro. Uh, we already went over those chords. So let's see, do we need, I think that's all the chords we need, so we don't have to put any more chords on Emma. You're welcome. All right. Now, uh, now it's a little bit, let's see. The next thing you need to know that's different, let's see, we did the intro, we did the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. Now you have the interlude. That's the same as the intro. So you just play that, that riff uh, two more times. Uh, now you're on verse 2, and this is a little bit different. What he does in verse 2, uh, in verse 1 he played it five times in a row, the progression. And he, he hits the first two chords in verse 2, and then he's out, and he's still singing, but he's not playing. And then at the end he comes back with... And so the progression, and he repeats it four times. So in verse 1, it's five times in a row. In verse 2, he plays just the C to the D minor, then he keeps singing, and he's out for the rest of that, that, um, that line, and then he comes back with the progression four times in a row. So it's a, it's a little, it's just a little uh, different, but when you listen to the song, you're going to hear it, and you're going to be like, oh, he didn't go over that, but I did go over that. Okay, that's verse 2. Then you got your pre-chorus again, which is the F to the A, then the chorus, uh, you could think of it like the chorus three times in a row here, or a chorus bridge chorus. It doesn't really matter, we don't really have to go over it because it's, it's the same um, in the bridge as it is in the chorus. He, just, he might play quieter or something like that, but it's just the B flat to the G minor. one time through, they play it two times through as one chorus. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. So you play that like six times through is, is uh, gets you to the outro. Hopefully that's not too confusing, but I think if you match it up with the song, you're going to find that, oh, that's all it is. Uh, the outro is the same as the intro with two chords tacked onto the end. So it's like... <laughs> song. So they do the intro again as the outro, and at the end they just hit a C, D minor, and then they stop the song. That's it. So that's all there is to the song. Uh, hopefully that's good enough, and uh, hit the like button. Please subscribe. Play more guitar. All that jazz. <laughs>